Martin Villamine, Messina, South Africa. Now, what we always look for in these quartzes is the, the elusive Ajoite and Papagoat, the turquoise and the uh, uh, blue. I don't see any of the cuff here, but I'm going to move it. First of all, let me show you the form of the specimen. So if you have it lying flat like this, you have it projecting out. This is a floater, so it would have formed as is in maybe a thick clay. Or maybe it did have some uh, contact to the ore body there. The green you see there would be some epidote. Crystallization right across the back here as well. Uh, good, good dose of hematite included in this quartz. So now let's look for color. I'm going to go, let's see. We look, of course, we're looking for the turquoise in this, the blue. I, I'm a little bit color challenged, so um, I don't see this color so well. I actually get confused between the the hematites, the grays, and the, the turquoise. Um, let's just see if we can zoom in there a bit, have a closer look there. There may very well be a little bit of uh, agarite inside that often makes little fur balls of, of uh, needle-like crystals inside the quartzes. And of course, depending on the size of the fur ball would be the concentration of color. All the way from the uh, uh, northern province, South Africa, Artin Villa mine, of course no longer being mined for quite a few years now, it's now 2023, um, the old copper mines of Messina.